Hey guys, welcome to DIY Mobis. So in the last few of my videos, I've been asking you guys to leave me questions in my comment if you guys have any and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Um, and I do try to answer all of them if I can. But this question or questions that I got, I decided to make a video about it because I know a lot of you probably have the same questions. So I got a question from Linda and she has a few different questions that she's wanting to know because she's looking to start a mug business, but she's not quite sure and she's not quite ready. So if this sounds like you, stay tuned. I will definitely go over these questions and answer them in this video. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the comment that I got from Linda with her question. Linda wrote, hi, I wouldn't be able to start for a while, but I have begun to seriously think about doing so. I appreciate your free course, so I can imagine that when I'm ready to move forward, I would like to purchase your main course to help myself get prepped for doing so. I have a few questions about handling this business comfortably all on one zone. With the understanding that each business will have its own success or lack of success in generating interest and orders, I'm curious about a typical day in the life of an owner of a DIY mug printing business. So the first question that Linda has is, what is the number of mugs you could comfortably complete each day by yourself? I have made a range between one to almost 20 mugs per day on, on my own. During the busy season, I can make between 10 to 20 mugs comfortably by myself. But keep in mind that this all depends if you're working a part-time or a full-time job. Before, when I first started my mug business, I was actually working a full-time job. So this was definitely something that I did on the side. So I was not able to make that many mug orders per day. I would had to spread those mug orders within a few days. And so when that do happen, communicate that with your customer to let them know how long it takes for you to make a mug and ship them out. Let's move on to the next question. What number of mugs per day would it make sense to begin hiring help to complete each day? I'm still doing this by myself because seasonality is a real thing and it do play a big part of your mug business. Some seasons are busier than others. For me, the holidays is a lot busier. I do have my son that help me. He does help me make some of my orders, but for the most part, this is my business and I do it by myself. I haven't hired any help because I'm capable of doing it by myself. But once you grow your business to where you know, it's a lot busier, then you can handle, then you'll definitely know when is the right time to hire help for yourself. I know it would be a really good problem to have in terms of generating business, but one of my biggest concern is setting up expectation for myself and my customer and yet perhaps becoming overwhelming with the number of orders in a day, particularly in a busier season. When starting off, definitely, like I said, since seasonality is a real thing and the busier season is the holidays. So Keep in mind that those time you will get busy. Your mug orders may go up. Just make sure you communicate that with your customer and let them know how much time it takes for you to make the mug orders and ship it out. Whether it's one to three business days or two to five or three to five. As long as you keep that communication line open with your customer, I don't think you'll have a problem. And don't put a lot of expectation on yourself. At the end of the day, you're the one that's making these mugs and I'm sure your customer appreciate that to make it perfect. You're going through each orders and you're looking over it and you're making sure that it's perfect before they go out. So let's move on. It says, I'm trying to decide between a print on demand company and a DIY DIY approach, mainly with that concern in mind. Although I love the quality control and personal touches a person can offer going DIY. My whole channel is all about DIY approach. Um, I am not really a big fan of print on demand, although I'm not saying that print on demand is bad for it to do myself because I, like you said, you know, I like the personal touch and I like being able to control my orders that's going out. I'm able to be creative because I always say in my videos that I am not in a mug business, I am in a gift giving business. Because all my mugs go out gift ready. It actually takes that pressure off of them. This actually helps solve that problem for them. So your last question is, what can I comfortably handle day in and day out all on my own? So that actually really depends on you. Um, starting off, it's gonna be a little bit rough because you're still learning. So, you know, just a few mugs per day can be overwhelming for you. I've made between 10 to 20 mugs per day by myself and I'm okay doing it. And you would definitely get there. And my ultimate 
DIY Mug Bits program for beginners, I do teach you exactly how to do everything from making your print to making your mugs and gift wrapping it, and also packing your mugs. In my program, I go step by step with you through it all. My program is available and it'll definitely help answer some of your questions that you do have that are more in depth. You leave off with thanks in advance for any guidance. Linda, I hope that this answered your questions and I hope that, you know, it gives you a little bit of clarity on what you wanted to. If any of you have any other questions for me, go ahead and leave in the comment and I will be more than happy to answer them. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because mugs are all that we do. And don't forget to hit the like button and I will see you guys in the next video.